Hi, it's Ms. Tama from the Youth Services Department at the Euclid Public Library. I just want to talk today about two books that I've recently read. The first one is Stamped, Racism, Anti-Racism, and You by Ibram X. Kendi and Jason Reynolds. The second book that I'll get to is called Dear Martin by Nick Stone. In Stamped, Kendi and Reynolds take us through the history of oppression in the United States, how it got here, who started the racist ideas, and how they were perpetuated throughout our society and throughout the centuries. This is a book for all readers of all ages. This book is so much bigger than black or white. This book is about giving us an understanding so that we can have perspective on not just the past, but also our present. I listened to the audio version of this book that I downloaded on Libby. Jason Reynolds reads it. And if you've never heard him read a book, uh, you definitely should. He's a phenomenal reader. It was very engaging. I'm sure the text would be just as engaging. The information is very easy to understand. It's broken down um, in a way that is very digestible for adults or youth. Stamped is sure to spark conversations. And that is one of the greatest things about this book. It challenges us to look at things we thought we knew in new ways. I highly recommend it. Dear Martin is the next book that I would recommend you checking out this summer. Many of you have heard Mr. Ray talk about it and recommend it, and I definitely agree. In this book, we meet Justice, who is the main character. He's had a recent uncomfortable experience with law enforcement, and it's causing him to question a lot of things in his life. In this book, Justice begins to write letters to Martin Luther King in a journal, and this is like a therapy for him and it is something that i would suggest that you try it's very easy to get frustrated and feel overwhelmed by a lot of things that are happening in our world right now things that are happening in your life but writing things down and getting the thoughts out of your head and organizing them can be so helpful so very helpful at times expressing our emotions to our parents or the people in our house or around us doesn't seem possible. So writing things down gives us the opportunity to completely clear our heads and get everything out. And then if you choose to share your thoughts or your feelings with people later on, it makes it a lot easier. Keeping a journal, writing lyrics, writing rhymes, drawing, writing poems, However you choose to express yourself on paper is totally fine. You never have to show anybody your personal writings unless you choose to. But it is a way, like I said, to clear your head and to kind of clear your thoughts and to take a breath, to take a step back, take a moment, pause, and then deal with this reality that we're living in. For those of you who've already read Dear Martin, Nick Stone has a sequel coming out later this year called Dear Justice. So we'll all be looking forward to that. Thanks for spending time with me today. And I hope you check out the two books I recommended this summer, Stamped, Racism, Anti-Racism, and You, and Dear Martin. Mm -hmm.